Mosley called me and, and told me straight up, like, yo, Joe, last chance you wants to come film the school. And, you know, everybody's radar. I mean, everybody's looking for you. You fall off on the radar. I mean, nobody's nowhere to be found. Hey! My mentality is totally different. Like, uh, before, I had a, a give up mentality. Now, I don't do those same things. Like, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I bounce back. I'm back now. We at the old stomping grounds at DeMatha Catholic High School. I haven't been here in like four or five years. It looked the same though since the last time I've been here, for sure. Well, I met Joe when he was in the seventh grade, uh, playing right around the corner at uh, William Wirt Middle School. I think people kind of can still see the talent. Even having that opportunity to get recruited by Mike Jones was a blessing. I have some friends that, that went JUCO, so I know um, some JUCO experiences, you know, that was, that's like the gauntlet. You know, people think JUCO are, is, is, is bad players, but it's, it's good players, too, with, with second chances. The dream is to be a lottery pick, man. I mean, not a lottery pick, late first round, second round. But I'm not settling for no other shit to leave. No offense about the body. I think Joe's story is going to be a great example for a lot of different factions of up-and-coming basketball players. And no matter how long Joe plays this game, I do believe that that truly is going to be what God put him on this earth to do. Never let nobody tell you what you can or can't do. I always tell them, be prepared. Preparation is everything. Yeah, life's a little different now. I'm still working hard each and every day to work towards my goal of going to the NBA. As far as I know, I'm going to go and I can never forget where I come from. It's been rough for him, trials and tribulations, but to see him fight his way back was completely awesome. It was just basketball. I can't think of nothing else. It was basketball was his life. I ain't really, I was struggling, but I ain't really even look at it as the struggle because I was having such a good time playing ball, enjoying my time with my family and friends. So growing up in the DMV was cool. It's been times we cried on the phone at night, and for me to be here in D.C. and him to be across the map was really hard. Before Last Chance You even came, this is when I knew Last Chance You was coming. Like right before season even started, trials was about to start or whatever, and I got arrested, like locked up. The only phone call, I, I ain't called my mother, I ain't called nobody, I ain't called my girl, nobody. The only phone call I made was to Coach Mobley. And I'm grateful for what he did for me, that for him getting me out. He wrote a lengthy letter to the judge and she shows me and she, my life was headed down the wrong path and he saved my life. Going to a four years is everything that I, I wanted it to be, everything that I worked for. I mean, being at Eli, working those long days, running those extra sprints. And I'm just proud of, you know what I'm saying, of how I overcame what I had to overcome. and. The beach is, is lovely, man. Like, I wake up in the morning, I'm waking up a mile down the road from the beach. And, like, it's just a vibe. Like, you just can't beat that. And then I'm in a league where not only can I stand out, but I can be a top gunner. So I'm just grateful for the situation that I'm in. Strength and conditioning is a major key to basketball and in life in general, and I always like to keep my body in shape. I don't ever want to get back to the old days where I used to be overweight. Shit, I've known Joe since like, since the circuit days with AAU, so maybe like nine, nine and under, something like that. To start, you know, we have to do a little bit of foam rolling, but then we go right into some dynamic stretching. Right after the dynamic stretching, we go into some um, activation work, activating all the muscles we're gonna use in a workout, and then we get right to it. A lot of lateral movements, um, a lot of deceleration and acceleration. That's very important in athletes, especially basketball players. Uh, that's how we literally prevent a lot of injuries that happen. Worked on some core work, upper body, lower body pull, push. So it's pretty much full body workout today. Coach Mosley let me rock out and let me do some of the things I did because he knew who I was and how I was as a person. It was real. <laughs> That's him. 100% <laughs> real. And I wouldn't even think to do that same kind of things and at the D1 level. You just can't do that. It's, it's unprofessional and you won't even get a job that way. So I know right from wrong. I'm a smart guy. I'm grown. 
Um, you know, stay level-headed, stay humble, obviously, but go get with yours. <laughs> but these are three scenes that stuck out uh, to me the most. Three short clips. This is probably one of the worst ones. I was gonna do a lot at this part in this particular time. I was uh, dealing with my my legal troubles. I think at that week I had just checked in or whatever, or couldn't check in, and they threatened to lock me up. We played this team maybe once before in the early, in, the, in the beginning of the season, and and I felt like I should be starting. And when I when I don't start and when I'm not playing up to to my potential, it, it messes with me a lot. Um, so my emotions got the best of me in this in this scene, for sure. Uh, this is a more upbeat scene. This is more uh, energetic. Oh wait, Wef. Oh, his pivot foot was down. Like when you see stuff on instant replay, bro, it's wild. Like you get stuff from a clear view. There goes that man. Look at him checking all cool. Like yeah, I got you, bro. Good swing, hit that, good shot, good momentum change. Give it to me, give it to me, give it. Ah. I mean, at this point, it was it was a lot to even get a post up because if I touched the guy the wrong way, they would call a foul. If I even posted up hard, do the hard seal, they would call a foul. So, I mean, you see me wide open, not even doing nothing, and I'm not getting it. So, I mean, yeah, it was frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating. Oh yeah, this is where it gets crazy. I think this is where it gets crazy. Oh my God, look at the no look. Look. It went right through his hands. Like, ah, league, we need those. Some player on the uh, Pasadena City College team, was, he was on the free throw line. I guess, I guess he just got fouled or his teammate got fouled. And he was talking big stuff to me, talking about his jump shot or something. I guess he had just hit one. And I'm like, what? Don't talk to me. And then I just started turning up. Oh my God. Keep running with me, OJ. I got you. And one. Swing it. Tracy. Oh, this is this scene right here. Coach, he always upbeat, you know what I'm saying, trying to get guys started in practice. So he was going around talking big stuff to guys, telling them what they can and can't do to him. And I just ended up, like, taking what he was – his competitive stuff, and I just made it a little bet. I mean, I started it, so I'll just be racking up, just shooting. I would have a rack beside me, just shooting half court shots, stationary, one leg, all kind of shit, just having fun. Malik, he was every every day I used to shoot half court shots, he'd be right there with me. <laughs> so he knew dudes would come up to me and place bets, we'll shoot, I uh, cash, and that's how that started. So I got comfortable in that gym from the from the free throw. I mean, half court. But these are three scenes that showed a real authentic feel and. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We just be in the gym like this all the time. Practicing, going up and down, making runs. At our two fives, we used to go at each other. Nah, I used to be in these same jerseys, man. Our situation was a little bit different. Watching y'all, I think we had a little bit more fire, but I see me and a lot of y'all. The aggressiveness, how y'all play, finesse. Dig deep down inside somewhere and find that dog. When we came through a gym, we put fear in people's heart. To me, y'all was just going up and down. Everybody here got skill. You go to the next level, it's gonna be that just as good as you, better than you. All the shit I'm telling y'all, these guys said the same thing. They went through one ear out the other one. I ain't listen. Come here, work hard every day, dig deep. Y'all gotta bring that back, man. For real. Respect. Coach Moses used to tell me this all the time. Like, like God has a plan for me. Take it that that's my calling to do. Like, I'm here to inspire the kids. I'm here to inspire the youth. And I'm gonna keep giving them what they need to, to succeed. I appreciate you all the time for coming by and doing this. Day in the life interview thing or whatever. It's love. Oh, my bad. I didn't even. Come on, y'all just be sneaking up on me. 
Alright, alright, alright. Just watch these videos right here, subscribe, and then we'll get back to the dancing. <laughs>